you know, we, we're watching, so we're watching this story about the, the Toy Hall of Fame, which is in Rochester. And we're seeing like all the toys that are being inducted. And so everyone in the office starts talking about their favorite toys growing up, right? So some people are like, oh yeah, no, for me it was shoots and ladders, and for me it was the sled, and for me it was this, was that. And then the people are like, what was your favorite, favorite toy growing up? And I was like, genuinely, my favorite toy growing up was a brick, <laughs> right? Which sounds crazy. <laughs> but, <laughs> Spinny, why do you walk away like I'm a crazy... <laughs> Like, you literally walk away, <laughs> like I'm saying the wildest thing. No, because we, so, so what happened was, no, we had, um, when we were growing up, um, like I'd live at my grand's house in Soweto, and then what would happen is a lot of kids didn't have toys, but it wasn't like a sad thing, like, oh, I don't have toys. It was just like, we play with whatever we find. And so the most popular thing little boys would play with was bricks, and your brick was, you'd play with it like a toy car. So you'd like walk around the neighborhood searching for the best brick, right? Because the game you would play, and we didn't put wheels on anything. Like someone asked me that in the office, like, you put wheels on it? No, there's no wheels. We were gonna find wheels. If we have wheels, we wouldn't have these problems. <laughs> so we just took bricks. So you would find bricks, and then the game you'd play is you'd like drive around in the dirt with your brick car, and then you would smash into the other boy's bricks. And then if your brick was the last brick standing, you won the game. So like all of us, it was like a mission. You're like, man, I gotta find bricks. I gotta, like you just like walk around the whole day just like searching for bricks. And there was this one brick that we had called a face brick. Right, which is basically like a really beautiful brick that you can, you know bricks that you don't plaster over? You can just have that as the face of your house. That's what we call the face brick, right? And so that was like the dream brick. It was the most expensive brick though. Like you couldn't, you could find everyone with like gray bricks and like the, like the dark black bricks and like all those, but those bricks break. You come with a face brick, someone would like, everyone would see you like you'd pitch up, you'd be like a pimp rolling up in a Rolls Royce Phantom. <laughs> like genuinely, I remember like one day I found the face brick and like, you know, I got there with like, all the other kids are like, me, mom, me, mom. And I like, got there like all swagged. And they're like, oh, Trevor, are you playing? Are you playing? And then I was like, yeah. And I pulled my brick out from behind my back. And they're like, oh, face brick, face brick. <laughs> and then it's like, yeah, we ask, Vele, face brick, face brick. And it's like, let's go. And then you drive, and then like everyone rams in. And I'll be like, you guys ram me first. I'll just, I'll just chill. And everyone tries to ram your brick. And because of the face brick, it's like com compact. It doesn't crack, and like everyone's bricks crack in half. People are devastated. Like you see, like kids smash their brick, and the brick cracks dead in the middle. And they're like, ah, the brick did not save me. It's like a big thing. And then you like play, and you take the brick. And it was such a popular thing that you had to be careful if you lived in the townships, because kids would steal bricks from outside your house if you were doing renovations. <laughs> so if you weren't careful, you would have like all your bricks outside because you're like, oh, I'm gonna build a wall. And then, like, the next day you would come there, and you'd be like, where the fuck are my bricks? <laughs> and, like, all the bricks are gone. <laughs> and then it's just, like, kids driving around, like, mm, mm. It's like, are those my bricks? I don't know what you're talking about, man. <laughs> this is my favorite toy. It just makes you realize, like, like you, can just, you can just have fun with anything, man. It's like, that's genuinely my favorite. Even now, when I see bricks, I get happy. Like I said, I said to a friend, that that's the one thing I don't like about living in New York. You don't see bricks often, like, like just, loose bricks hanging around. <laughs> you take that for granted. I walk around, I'm like, man, no bricks, no bricks, no bricks, no bricks. <laughs> and if I see a brick, there's a thing in me still till this day that wants to take the brick. And I have to stop myself and be like, you're the host of The Daily Show. <laughs> you can buy all the bricks you want. And it's like, yeah, but take that brick, Trevor. Come on, you know you want to. And I always think, imagine if TMZ caught me on camera. And it's like, Trevor Noah spotted stealing a brick. <laughs> and then I'd be trying to explain it. No, it's a car. No, it's not. <laughs> Is Trevor Noah on drugs? No, wait! It's so strong. What were you doing, Trevor? I was gonna build my own wall. That's what South you guys, you should let Donald Trump build the wall and then just bring like all the South African kids overnight. <laughs> and they'll just like take the